Adler Garcia. As a professional artist, my name is Pepino the Clown. As a circus kid, I I become an artist uh, naturally because of my family. My family, they all come from Mexico, including your friend Raul here. What I remember is been traveling and practicing and schooling in different countries. That was my life as a child. For 28 years, I did the flying artist, as a flying artist, with my family, with my sisters, brothers, and whole family. I was the youngest person to accomplish the triple somersault at my young age, at nine years old. I grew up in rural Wisconsin in the U.S. One of the places I grew up was at this community farm that my mom and I lived at with like 10 other people or something. We were all lived in this big old farmhouse and um, I decided I wanted to be an aerialist when I was 10. You know, clowning sounds like fun, but that looks amazing, so I had my heart set on aerials at that point. Um, well, my mom's the one that got me into trapeze in the first place. She's a rock climbing instructor, it's one of her many jobs, so, you know, I would uh, go, with, go with her on trips and, you know, get dangled off the edge of a cliff and stuff like that, so I think she's helped me be fearless. Tuesday was interesting. <laughs> Whoa, Tuesday was fun. <laughs> it was um, very wet and very, very, very cold. I basically run out the tent, change out of my costume and get my hair out and face off and stuff like that and jump into my work clothes and jump into my harness and get up onto the top of the tent as soon as I possibly can. Because um, I need to, I'm, I first unlace the necks that are around the king poles and then I unlace the rest of the seam of the tent. They can get everything out of the tent, but they can't start taking the tent down until I'm done up there, so I'm kind of like, oh, <laughs> trying to get it done as fast as I can and, you know, not die in the process. If the weather is good, okay, which is very strange, you're doing certain stuff. But when the weather is bad or it's windy or it's uh, muddy or, you do something else, you they change all the rules. So uh, the build up is everybody works, everybody does, everybody running around. It's stressful actually, for uh, especially when the weather is bad. It's got the wind coming down, but you, you see how strong we have here. I was clinging to the king pole to get one of the necks down and my hands just went so numb, I was so cold. Um, so, you know, that took me a long time. It, was, it took a long time to get all that done, but that was okay because when it's wet or windy or whatever, you can't go fast because it's not safe. So I just took my time and got it done. And so yeah. But other than that, that's that's what I do during pull down. And when I'm done with that, I go back and I get the caravan ready to go, get it hitched up if I can, and get everything kind of packed down and the water and electrics packed up, and then. Um, when Tristan's done with all of his jobs, we go off and I drive us to the next place and he sleeps in the car and then we get here and we sleep for a little while and then we jump up in the morning and do everything in the reverse, put it all back up again. Well, it was hard because uh, you see the weather, the cold, the build up, traveling, it's all, in, it's all uh, it's all includes on the journey, but we don't we don't care. Really. We having fun because if you see if that tent fell down, everybody's without a job. It's kind of daunting at the time, and I'm still working on finding the best ways to keep myself awake while I'm like driving us down the road. Um, radio helps. I like listening to the radio at three in the morning. It's very entertaining. <laughs> um, but like when I was in the academy, I loved it. I love moving every week because you don't have time to get sick of a place, really. So I really like that aspect of it. You know, it might get, it might lose its novelty after a little longer, but it might not. I'm hoping it does.
a nice day so it was a little bit of windy but it was we finished quite earlier it was 4 p.m we knew that we did finish everything so which was very good but when the weather is bad we have to do it anyway you know we we just we have one uh, way to think we we have to do it let's do it i mean as you can still hear it's still really windy and um i was up there for ages it took me a really long time to get everything done because like, i'd be trying to tie something up and all of a sudden i'd be four feet higher than i was a second ago and then like three seconds after that i'm way down here again so i was like going or like trying to clip something onto a king pole and having to like stop and just cling on for dear life because the wind's blowing so hard it was it was fun at times it was a bit nerve-wracking at other times you know when i was i knew i was safe and i had a good place to hang on to it's kind of fun to be like do -do 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 with the tent but other times it was like oh god it was funny too because when i came down and i was on solid ground it still felt like i was moving around because i'd been up there for so long Yeah, you can't do something like this for ages and ages and ages, you know, your body will wear out. But I'd kind of managed to make myself forget about the possibility that you can fall and die. I decided to come to England because I have a, a little children which are eight years old, and he's got some, um, some kind of problems as autism, he needs special care school. When they put you in the ground, do you want to go in there looking perfect or do you want to go in there looking like someone who has used their body to their fullest potential? My career might end in a fall. This actually is a reality.